Today we're going to be stripping some tilapia eggs. Just want to try to handle them, handle them gently. Just kind of open her bottom lip, and she'll kind of start spitting out the eggs. And you want to kind of give her a break, and let her breathe a little bit. I like to kind of put my thumb on her forehead too, in case she tries to lunge forward. You can kind of push her back. I noticed that some of the species, their mouths are a little harder to open. So I use something like a zip tie to open their bottom lip, but this species is pretty easy. You can just use your finger. This is a Mozambique tilapia. Kind of let her breathe for a minute. And you could also kind of look inside there and make sure you got them all. I usually like to do it for several minutes extra too, just to make sure that you get them all. Sometimes the eggs are deep in the back of their throat. Okay, it looks like we got them all from her. We'll show you guys what we got out of her. And these are already several days old. Usually we strip them sooner than this, but we've just been busy and haven't gotten to this female. Okay, we're gonna show you guys how some of the eggs are bad, and you could just take them out with a turkey baster like this. You can kind of spray the good ones away and just suck up the bad ones. Usually you won't have very many, and this does work a lot easier than trying to dump them out. This is a really easy strategy for taking out any bad eggs, whether it's out of the tumbler or out of the bowl where you just strip the female. Looks like we got one left over here that isn't never developed or died for some reason. Okay, it looks like Looks like we got them all. Okay, we just stripped these uh, Mozambique tilapia right now. And they still have to go in a hatchery. They're not quite ready. So we're going to put them in an egg tumbler right now. And then put that in our hatchery tank and show you guys. Usually I put a little bit of water in here too. And we have water in here. We just slowly kind of dump it in there. Make sure we got them all and we did. And now we'll put the lid on this, put an aerator on it, and get it in the hatchery. Usually finish filling up the jar with water about to there, about seven eighths full. And you just put the lid on. You have the aerator piece here. Put that on. And we have a holder down here, which they go in. And you can adjust the airflow. So let's take a look. You want them kind of barely moving, so we'll tone down the air a little bit. You don't want them tumbling around too hard. And that's pretty good right there. Thank you for watching.